Cancer doesn't have to be a death sentence. Cancer is when the cells grow uncontrollably. Cancer will be the past. It means less time with less family. Time with family. Cancer is a milestone in teaching you what life is all about. Cancer is a malignant growth. It's the big C. Cancer is a part of my Cancer life. was just an obstacle that I had to get across. I had a very strong pain in the pit of my stomach. We went to the emergency room at St. Joseph and they, uh, they found a, a mass on my pancreas. About two years ago at Christmas time, I started feeling dizzy. I went to see my doctor and he said, just to be on the safe side, let's order an MRI. And that's when everything changed. I was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer uh, through a biopsy by Dr. Singh. And that was after five or six months of, of kind of looking around, trying to figure out why my back hurt. When I first heard that I had cancer, I chose St. Joseph Hospital because of their reputation. I knew that they were the number one group in Orange County, and I wasn't going to stray from that. The Center for Cancer Prevention and Treatment is a cancer program that deals with all of the patient's needs, both the scientific and the social needs of the patients and their families once the cancer diagnosis is made. The Cancer Center is a culmination of ideas on how to best put all of our cancer services in one place. It's very convenient that a lot of the radiologic services are here, that we have physical therapy in the building, that we have yoga pilates and some free classes all here. They have the best tools here to help you emotionally, physically, and mentally to go through whatever you're going through. If it all ended, Kathy would have gotten the best, um, and you couldn't ask for more. What's unique about the way we provide the care at St. Joseph Hospital and in our cancer program is that we do it in a holistic way, in body, mind, and spirit. When a patient comes in with a new diagnosis of cancer, the only thing they're thinking about is the cancer, and what I'm thinking about is, how do I take care of that patient in what they're feeling? How do I take care of their family and their children? Each professional at the hospital takes the time to see who you are as a person. So during your treatment process, you create a bond. When you're helping heal emotionally, when you help heal physically, it all contributes to that healing aspect. When you take care of any of the cancers, we have to always strive to find out what the newest and the best treatments are. The Navigator program is number one navigation, but it includes knowledge, education, compassion. My Navigator, he was that point person where I was able to go to him and get the answers to the questions that I had. Sometimes I know I ask too many questions, but they always try to give me the very best answer possible. I do feel that I have a, a friend navigating me through this process, and I do feel special. I think the importance in cancer care is that you are involved in top-notch treatment, and the only way to be involved in top-notch treatment is to be involved in research. When you have a program like St. Joseph's that is a research-based program that also offers you the finest in medical care, you're going to get the best of both worlds. Therefore, your chances of recovery are going to be at its greatest. We want people to have confidence that if there is a trial that can help them, that they will have access to those trials. We are the best in terms of what we offer because we have the latest and greatest in radiation oncology techniques and instrumentation. Many of these radiation machines over the years have become more and more capable of just delivering the radiation to the specific cancer cells and avoiding the normal cells. The newer generation linear accelerator that we hope to install very shortly will not only treat microscopic disease, but it will also do it in a quicker time frame so that the young child who would have to otherwise be anesthetized may not because it can be done in a much quicker time period. 
When you have a center that has all of these types of services, you start to feel like you can take care of the entire patient and not only kill their cancer, but actually help them to live. I went from death's door to now I'm working in the career that I love. I have the most wonderful wife in the world and I have a brand new baby daughter. I'm here today because of St. Joseph. The Cancer Center here at St. Joseph has given me hope every time we enter the doors. And it's also extended me time with my wife that wouldn't have been had she not been able to get the treatment at the Cancer Center. Cancer care is expensive. And when the patient appears here, they don't turn anybody away, nor should they. You can't really provide that without having a, a good, strong support of charitable people. So the fundraising effort is almost as important as the treatment itself. A decade ago, people were giving their money and their heart and their love to put this center on the map. I never dreamed that I would be the benefactor uh, of people like me who have started foundations and contributed to foundations and now be the one who's actually saying thank you. And you know, to those people who have the courage you know, to, to give the money uh, for people like me that they didn't know. So I say thank you. My son was diagnosed with a DIPG. That's a glioma to attack the brain. Everything automatic that the body does, does it, that cancer kill. I almost die, I really almost die. I, I don't stop crying, I cry every day, I cry every night. Not in front of him because he need be, I need to be strong in front of him. But I just hoping the Lord help me to go to, to walk to, through this path. I came here every day for a radiation because my son needed a lot of radiation. They have to put anesthesia every single time. Unfortunately, every single time, he can die. They are angels, these, these doctors, these, they are amazing people. If the hospital get a, a radiation machine without anesthesia, that would be super, not just for my kid. It's because for many, many, many kids, this cancer is horrible. My son has between four to six months of life. But thanks to these people, thanks to this place, thanks to the radiation machine and some medicine, they can give me maybe one more year with my son. So one more year to keep fighting and enjoy my son, go to the beach, go to Disneyland, laughing with him, make memories, instead of see him in the bed crying and dying. That's what this is for. Thanks to that machine, my son can laugh again. I know it's not too much for a lot of people, but for me, it's a big, big stuff.